Hi everybody, Carissa here with Inky Fairy Designs for the Blitzy Creative Team and today we're going to create this fun mixed media holiday uh, canvas stocking to hang on your fireplace this season. And I'm using some of my favorite Dina Wiggly Media products, um, starting with the heavy body acrylic paints. I'm really loving these paints lately. Um, they are so awesome to paint with. They blend beautifully. I'm using five colors. I'm using night, which is a very dark blue, blackberry violet, sky, sterling, and white as um, a highlight to kind of blend them all together. I'm also using this new Dina Wakely Media Stamp and Stencil Holiday Set. I absolutely love these birds. I'm not using them today, but um, be sure to check out my blog and follow me, and um, hopefully I'll have a project using those sometime soon. But I am using these stencils, which are awesome. I love that there's like three different styles on one stencil, and it comes with the stamp set, so it's pretty cool. I'm also using this Dilution stamp set um, in the project today. It's also very fun and whimsical, and it does come with a stencil as well. So I love those. Um, I'm going to be working on this Canvas Corp uh, stocking. So it is a naked, uh, is that what you say? <laughs> uh, canvas, um, basically it's um, not naked. What am I looking for? Um, it's, it's raw. That's what it is. It's raw canvas. So I'm going to be putting lots of paints and stuff on it. So you saw I tucked in some chipboard to keep that from bleeding to the other side. I'm also using this Reeves um, Tearaway Palette Sheet to put out my paints. So I'm just squeezing a little bit on it. This um, pad is really cool. It's got a slick surface. So your paint kind of stays up there while you're pulling it off. And you can just rip out the page when you're done and throw it away. I'm going to prime my stocking. Like I said, it's raw. It took me a while to figure out what I was trying to say. But I'm using Liquitex White Gesso. And I am just pouring that on there. You can see that it is just soaking up that paint like a sponge. And that's why I'm using um, some gesso to prime it and to add this layer. Because I don't want to use up all of my paints, um, all of my, like, hoarded Dina Wakely paints. <laughs> um, I want to, you know, if I would have not used it, it would look cool, but it would soak them up and they would not move so much and I would use a ton of paint. So it doesn't matter what kind of paints you were using, um, whatever kind of acrylic paints. I definitely wanted to prime it and give me that surface that would be more workable and more easy for me to paint on. So now I am going to use one of my favorite techniques. You've seen me do it before. I'm using an old gift card and I am just picking up the color from my palette and I am swiping it on back and forth, up and down. Um, it spreads so much better on top of that gesso. And I love doing this um, other, rather than using a paintbrush just because it's a little bit more organic and I'm not really thinking about anything. I am just adding color to my canvas. And um, so I just take those two colors and switch them, you know, swipe them right next to each other. Uh, when I'm doing this, I like to use um, two colors that are in the same family. So these are cool colors, both purple and blue and so they're going to blend together really nicely and I'm not going to get any mud. So but you can certainly use whatever colors you want. I would just suggest that you stick with either cool or warm, um, whatever your favorites are. So now I added some, I'm going to take some of that white and I'm going to kind of create some um, lines and some more texture into the paint. So I'm just using the card still and I'm making markings into my canvas. And this is just kind of adding some interest and um, some variations. You know, adding that white uh, will give us some lights and give us some automatic highlights and shading. So now I wanted to do some distressing around the edges. I love that this um, that you can see like the threads and stuff off of this canvas. And so I'm just adding some gelatos in a squid ink. It actually comes in the 50s diner set. Um, so if you want to look for that color, it's an awesome kind of like a warm gray. And um, just added some 
some distressed look to the edge of my stocking. So now you can see I have taken the stencil from that set and I cut it apart. And I did that because I wanted to make it more versatile for my use. I didn't want to have to mask off any of those other areas that had a different pattern. And so I just took my scissors to it and cut it off. It doesn't bother me. I can get a lot more use out of it. But if you don't want to cut it, you could certainly be careful and not um, sponge through that area or you could mask it off with washi tape or anything that you want to do. Um, but I'm taking some of that night paint and I'm using just a makeup sponge and um, putting it, sponging it through the stencil onto my canvas. Um, you can see that I used the whole stencil at the top so you can see all of the words. And now I'm taking it and kind of offsetting it off of the canvas a little bit um, so it gives it more variation and interest and texture and now I'm coming down and I'm going to uh, sponge through the entire stencil again at the bottom and then at the very bottom I'm only going to do part of the stencil so it just kind of gives it some more variation when you do it this way rather than um, stenciling it completely whole time and time again um, that way it doesn't have to be perfect in my eyes is kind of how I look at it. So now I'm going to take some of the white Heavy Body Acrylic by Dina Wakely and I am going over all of that gray. Uh, I really like the texture or the distressed look of it but then I didn't like it so I am just going over it and kind of lightening it up a little bit. I'm not covering it completely. You still see some of that gray and I think it looks a lot better uh, with that extra layer on it. So now I'm taking another portion of that stencil. This is the, um, it looks like snowflakes to me, and I'm taking that sterling color, which is a really, it's a metallic color, so it's really pretty and shimmery. And I am just using another um, spit, uh, makeup sponge and sponging that through. And I'm just going to make a continuous line. Now you can see that I did not add gesso to the top of the stocking. I wasn't sure if I wanted to completely decorate it. I kind of when I first sat down and started I didn't think that I would decorate it. I was, I was thinking I would leave it plain. But then I, after I added everything down at the bottom I thought it needed something and so I decided to just use those snowflake stencils and I didn't need to prime it. So now I'm taking the new Tim Holtz splatter brush. It's a really unique tool. Um, you can see I'm using some Distress Stain because it's a very liquidy paint and um, it works best when you have a liquid, you know, you can water down some acrylics. I haven't tried that yet, but watercolors would go great with this technique. But you just kind of flick the, the, the bristles back and it, you have a lot more control where your splatters are going to go and your splatters are a lot smaller. Here's a close-up. You can see how small those splatters are. Really cool tool. I like it. But I did want to get some more um, larger splatters. So I took out my um, uh, Heidi Swap Gold spray and I just took it right out the bottle and kind of splattered some on there. I just wanted some larger splatters and I'm, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. Now I'm taking some of this Gilt color from the Dina Wakely Heavy Body line. It is a gorgeous gold. I absolutely love this color. It's another metallic, just like the Sterling, but it's beautiful. I think it's just like the perfect color gold and it really matched with the other golds that I was using on the project. So now I took that stamp and I just um, used some white acrylic paint and stamped it on that chalkboard ornament. And I want to mention um, stamping with paint is totally fine. You can do it, but you just want to make sure that you wash your stamp right away. Take it to the sink, um, you know, step away, take that moment to wash your stamps. I'm not a big person that washes my stamps like when I'm ink and all that, but when I use paint, I step away and I wash them. So I tied it on with some white and gold twine and I'm showing you a little bit of a close-up of how it is coming together. I just think it's so cool. It's a different kind of camp, um, you know, stocking that's going to hang um, by the fireplace and it just was a lot of fun to put together. I have one final finishing touch that I want to add. I got the um, Frozen set of Stickles by Ranger. I couldn't resist. I like that movie. It's one of my favorite kids movies and it has these really pretty colors. I'm using Wonderland which is a mix of 
like teal blues and purples, which was perfect for my project. But it also comes with frozen, which is like a um, like a sky blue, and then also glisten, which is a silver. And so you can see I just dot it onto my snowflakes, but I don't want that raised dot, so I'm smushing it and kind of blending it in with my fingers. And that's it. Um, the excess from on my fingers, I just rub it on my canvas to kind of tie it in together. So here's all of that beautiful sparkle. I love this color. I think I'm going to be using it a lot this season. And um, that's my finished canvas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did putting it together. I hope I also inspired you to take those mixed media techniques off of the page and onto something different. Um, you could not use a stocking. You could use anything, um, you know, fabric related to do this. Uh, so for more inspiration and ideas using these products, be sure to visit the Blitzy blog, Facebook page, and Instagram. And I will see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.